by Talent celebrates the birthday of a 96 year old longtime blood donor and volunteer. Yeah, she's participated in hundreds of blood drives and she's inspired people to help save others lives through their donations. Mm -hmm. Fox 23's Alyssa Cole has more in this week's Kindness in Action. Kindness in Action is brought to you by Forest General Hospital. Vitalant, the former United Blood Services, is celebrating the birthday of a special donor, Lucille Davis. Blood is something you can't live without. You've got to have blood and you've got to have good blood. So the Lord gives you blood, so why not sit and divide with someone else that needs it? As you can see, her philosophy on giving to others is simple. It's something the folks at Vitalant recognized years ago when she started donating blood at 70 years old. I donated 88 gallons. And then I had a problem and I haven't been able to since. But I donated, my last donation was when I was 89. Even though she hasn't been able to give blood in years, according to Vitalant, she has given more than 10 gallons of blood in her lifetime. And that accomplishment deserves a little cake. Oh, I enjoy it. I look forward to it. And then there's, when, like we're doing the blood drive, we meet a lot of people and we, we recognize those people and they come back and, it's, it's right, and we, know, we try to encourage them that they're doing what's right and make them feel better. At 96 years old, Lucille drives herself around town to volunteer at the local hospital, nursing home, and with Vitalant. Volunteer, then you're doing something for yourself as well as others, because if you come home and sit down and watch TV and eat and read and do all that kind of stuff, it's you, you're on your way out. Lucille is never alone. Her trusty sidekick, Helen Garraway, volunteers with her, making sure people have what they need when they come in to donate blood. Alyssa Cole, Fox 23 News. If you want to nominate someone for kindness in action, go to forestgeneral.com slash kindness in action.